All right, this video is meant to show you how to set up a test using ExamView Test Generator. So I'm going to double click the ExamView Test Generator icon and it's, it might ask you for some information. If it asks for your information, put it in there. If it asks you to register, just say no. And um, when we set up a test, I highly suggest you create a new test from scratch. The test generator or the wizard, I, I don't like. Uh, you might like it. I guess you can try it if you want. But I suggest just going and creating from scratch. So it's going to ask you to give the title of your test. I'm going to make this my biology pretest. And then I'm going to click OK. And what you'll probably get is a little box that just shows what these icons mean. Any icon here on exam view, if you're not sure what it's showing you, if you put your arrow on it, it'll give you a little box that shows you, okay, that's the spell check one. I can select questions randomly. I, so if you're not sure what it's showing, just arrow over and it'll show you. Now we can do several ways of putting questions into your test. You can enter them manually. Uh, I'll show you that here in just a few moments. I prefer to use a test bank. Uh, if you have one available, that's going to be the best way to go so you don't have to go completely from scratch. And so if you're going to use a test bank, what I, uh, there's several things you can do. You can select questions randomly. Don't know why you do that. Uh, select from a list. You can select while viewing. You can select by standard. You can select by criteria or you can go with all of them. You'll find the same possibilities in the select choice on your menu bar. All right, I'm going to do select while viewing. This is the one that I typically use the most. Now, what we need to first do is identify where are your test banks. Right now, it's defaulting to the C drive. All the test banks that we have stored are actually on the X drive. So you're going to want to click where it said C drive there, and you're going to want to go down to where it says the apps drive and go to that. And then if you keep going, now that you're on the X drive, if you go under exam view, then go under exam view again, and then if you hit um, banks, that'll take you to all of your test banks. Now when you look up in this box, you'll see all the available test banks. All right, uh, Some test banks that are going to be of interest you're going to find test banks if your textbook publisher came with a tech with an exam view disk that should be loaded in here if it's not ask one of the uh, tech people and they'll get it taken care of for you uh, you'll also find the learning series learning series is a good test test bank to use because it's primarily made up of old released MEEP and MME items or uh, their state produced items in there as well so this is a good start um, but you, not everybody's going to find something for th what they're looking for in here. But like I said, it, it's a good start. Sometimes you'll find version 5, version 6. The newer versions usually have the older uh, questions in them as well. So if I look inside here, oh perfect, I'm looking for biology questions. So I'm going to, I want to make sure this is one of the things I get to look at. So I'm going to hit select. I'm going to highlight the other one and I'm going to hit select. I can still put more questions in here if I want to look at them. I'm going to go up a level and I want to pull from my textbook that I use in class. And This is the textbook that I use. So double click that and I want to grab from here as well. And so I'm going to add, just to keep this more simple, I'm going to add just my photosynthesis stuff. All right, so I now have all these choices. Next, I'm going to hit Next. And what it's going to do is pull up all the questions that are part of that, part of those uh, test banks. And so I can now go through and I can read the questions and choose which ones I actually want to use. All right, it gives you the, the answer, where it's referred to on the textbook, at least in this case. All right, you'll notice there's different types of questions. There's some completion questions. There's some short answer questions, um, so on and so forth. And this is only showing, if you look down here, the textbook one that I chose. If I want to look at the ones from the learning series that I chose, I can click there, and now it loads those up. All right, and uh, this one has a little bit more information. And what I often will look for is, in many of these, it'll give you the state standard. So this question is testing this state standard right here. All right, so let's say I want to use question number one and question number four from here. 
and I want to use from this test bank question number two and uh, we'll use question number 68 and then from this test bank I want to use I'm concerned about my kids knowing what ATP looks like when I select the questions I want to use I just hit finish and this is just a little thing telling you that you can translate this into another language and there's my test so I've taken from those test banks and I've created this five question test that I'm going to use as my biology pretest. I, I can also select questions just by standard. So if I want to select by standard, I'm going to use the same test banks. I want to, I'm going to change this to state standard. I want B2.5E to show up on this as well. So I can see there's one question in here from B2.5E. So I'm going to change that to a 1 and hit select. And what that's done now is at the bottom of my test, it added a question that deals with that standard. All right, I can also add my own questions. So I go to question, I can go to new. I have a, uh, many choices of the type of questions that I want to use. I'm going to make this a multiple choice question. Alright, and so what do we call the process of converting sugars to energy and we'll just leave it at that. It's a bad question, oh well. And then I can put my my responses in here. I'll put cell respiration, I'll put photosynthesis, we'll put in uh, fermentation, and we'll put in magic. Alright, then I can also go through and, no, after I've gone through and put in my responses, I click the correct answer. There's other things I can add into this as well. Alright, if I would like to show this goes with state standard B2.5E, I can add that to there as well. All right, and then I just hit record, and it adds that question to my test as well. When I'm done making my test, I'm gonna I'm gonna save it, and what, once again, what you're looking for is on the X drive, under exam view, then under exam view again, under tests, find your building, and then uh, you might already you might want to set up a folder in there. You might just want to leave it uh, open ended your choice. You can see here at the high school some people just put them in the, the high school folder and there's some of us that actually set up a folder for ourselves to be able to catalog our tests. Doesn't matter whatever you want. And then click save and it's going to save that in that location. Alright so that's just a general uh, overview of how to set up a test. If you have any questions on setting up the test because there's many more things that you can do with this uh, feel free to Either send me an email or give me a call and I'll help steer you in the direction that you need to go. Have a good day.